Hey everyone, what is up? What is good? It is Balim. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how you doing? Wow, some drama really, really popped off last night in the beauty community. Cole Carrigan made a long 25 minute rant on IG Live. Going into detail about him having a collaboration with another YouTuber called Candice Aguilera. Now, Candice Aguilera has reportedly private labelled other influencer cosmetic brands. In the live, which is still up on Cole Carrigan's IG, he alleges that this YouTuber, Candice Aguilera, private labels big name influencer cosmetic brands. He even mouthed the words at one point in the live to say that it was Manny MUA's brand, among them Luna Beauty. Cole Carrigan's live went into a lot of detail. It was very juicy girl. He went into a lot of detail about this collaboration that he was supposed to have near his birthday with Candice Aguilera. She dropped me from it for, her excuse was because of everything going on with the Tana situation. I think that's fucking bullshit. There was a contract signed. Like, anyway, I'm gonna start from the beginning. So, uh, this girl reached out to me via D Instagram DMs. It was a very blunt DM. It was like, do you wanna make X amount of money from a makeup palette with me? And I, I obviously didn't respond right away because probably a scam. But I dug deeper, creeped on her Instagram. She has, like, fucking Rolls Royces. She just moved into John Stamos' old house in Calabasas. Like, she's very well off, which made me, like, assume that she's successful in her business. Um, so then we started kind of exchanging messages back and forth and chatting and stuff. She's blonde, big boobs, like, just very, like, my vibe. Like, we, we got along very well. And I truly saw a friend in her before we even started, like, business together. And uh, basically, like, she reached out a little over a year ago to do, asked me to collaborate with her brand to do a palette. Now, this lady, she private labels for people, so, which means, if you don't know what that means, it means she private labels and she's a manufacturer for a lot of people's palettes like a lot of influencers that you know i don't i'm not even gonna name names because i just don't want to involve people but a lot of huge influencers that have their own brands she manufactures and curates them like and many more like that that's the only name i'm gonna drop <laughs> um but yeah like that should show that she's legit as well as exposing Manny MUA's brand for being private labelled, Cole Carrigan also dished the dirt on what happened with the Glam House, the Beverly Hills Glam House, the influencer kind of creator house that he'd set up with his partner, La Demi. Uh, I move into the Glam House uh, with Demi and everything's going great. Literally, everything's going great. We have, you know, huge influencers, big corporations partnering with us like everything is great amazing um she i even i remember when i lived there she picked me up twice for for a business meeting for two business meetings while i lived at the house and then i even invited her over one day for a meeting so she came in the glam house gave her a tour of everything told her everything and this was kind of the period where we were like getting really fucked over with the glam house like we were starting to connect dots and i know we haven't really talked about what happened with the glam house but long story short the investor was embezzling all the money that like investors were giving us like fifty thousand, like a lot of money to put towards the glam house <clears throat> and we weren't seeing any of it none of it me and demi were pulling out of our own pockets for everything that, um, we were pulling out of our own pockets for everything that you saw with the glam house, the neon sign, all the stuff that we did, we paid for our own money because we were told that we were getting money. The investor, we were, we moved into his old house cause he was moving, but he was lying, stealing, embezzling. Um, a few weeks ago, I think three, two or three weeks ago, she texts me and basically tells me that um, she she said word for word she goes they 
have decided not to move forward with the palette. Bitch, who is they? You are the fucking one making the palette. You're, you can't even tell me to my face that you've decided that you don't want to do it, work with me anymore. But the, her reasoning is what got me. Her reasoning was they decided not to move forward because of everything going on online. And obviously, I'm like, what's going on online? And the only thing I can think of is uh, all the Tana bullshit. And so that's what she was talking about. So her excuse of not working with me and completely dropping me from a palette that's supposed to launch next month when the, a contract is already signed, like you paid to, to, to um, trademark my everything. So it's just not adding up. And I'm like, this is... And then after everything I expressed to her about everything that we had been going through with the glam house and being fucked over and not seeing the, not getting paid. Like we were owed like tens of thousands of dollars for the work we were doing. And she, and we were also pulling out of our own wallets for this shit. And she knew everything and she knew I hadn't launched anything. She knew how, how passionate that I, I was telling her that this was like my one thing motivating me. Like, because everything in my life was just being so shitty and so wrong and like everything was just fucking up. So I was like, thank you. I'm so grateful for you. This is the one thing pushing me and motivating me. And then she just completely drops me, right? So that's already fucked. It gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. So that's already fucking fucked the fuck up. And I'm like cr in tears crying. And she just literally doesn't give a flying fuck. And... So then what really tied the cherry on the knot is I see one of my friends who one of the influencers that I connected with post on her Instagram, which is I'm not I don't care about her. Congrats. I'm so glad that you made so much money, more money than you already have because of me, literally. Um, but it's like. I see her post this blank X Walmart this Walmart collaboration between Jenny69 and Baddie B Lashes, this has been posted all over IG by huge influencers, Manny MUA himself. This is part of the collaboration that Cole was supposed to have a palette for. I can for. see why Cole would be upset about that. You know, that is kind of really, really, really upsetting if Cole thought he was doing this collaboration with this influencer who was in contact with Walmart. This influencer or contact Candice Aguilera. She has now blocked Cole Carrigan on Instagram. She's even gone as far as making a whole damn Instagram account private. She turned the YouTube comments off. But not only that, I went back to her YouTube channel when I woke up this morning and oh my god, she has even gone as far as wiping the whole YouTube channel. Now I know there might be some people saying, oh, this is Cole Carrigan, how can you trust him, all of this stuff. But this Walmart collaboration is legit. So I'm really thinking that Cole is telling the truth on this one. Let me know what you guys think about it, but I honestly don't think this is all a lie. Manny MUA, now his brand, Luna Beauty, being private labeled, that is tea. That is some fucking tea. I'm like, wow. Ooh, there could be some truth in that too. And I'm really, really kind of intrigued i'm going to be watching this situation to see if it develops any further because this could be kind of explosive if this comes out the fact that this candace aguilera lady has now gone and privated all of her social media her instagram she's wiped her youtube channel the fact that she has gone to the length of doing all of that that tells me that person is trying to hide something so i really wouldn't be surprised if cole's claims are true and just as I was putting this video together, Cole Carrigan popped up on his IG stories saying that Candice Stanley, Candice Aguilera, has now gone and changed her Instagram username because she doesn't want other business partners to see the shady shit that she is doing. Girl, Cole then followed that up with, I literally just deleted every single story of mine from today that didn't involve the situation with Candice because she is fully trying to hide from the situation. So no one knows what she did to me and I will not stop until everyone knows the truth and I get paid. This is absolute bullshit.
I checked out the new Candice Stanley account that is from Candice Aguilera. It is followed by La Demi, Cole's former kind of business partner with the Glam House. So that's interesting. Let me know what you guys think about all the drama. Do you think that this situation is going to kick off a little bit more? Do you think that Manny MUA is about to be exposed for his brand Luna Beauty being private labeled? Let me know. I'd really love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.